Sorry, I'm almost there. Okay. Um, Jess, I'm going to use your numbers here. Okay. The, uh, go ahead. So let me draw the, a picture of the gun here. Um, I can't draw a gun very well. Okay, there's a gun. And there's a spring in the gun. Mm -hmm. and initially it's there. Then a minute later, you've... Press that spring is now down to here. It's all smashed up. And how far did you compress the spring? Um, it's uh, zero point one meters. Okay. And then, um, how high did your bullet shoot? Eighteen meters. C is asking for the speed that it moves through the equilibrium position. Mm -hmm. So it wants to know the speed right here. Okay, does that, does the question make sense? Yeah, but uh, actually, no, not really. I didn't get the part where it said where x equals zero. Okay. So what you gotta do is you gotta go by what the picture's labeled, and it labels this spot here as zero. Okay. And so you start with the ball up here, and then you smash it down and the ball sits here, and then you pull the trigger and it shoots the ball way up there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, the way you, okay, so, but when you pull the trigger, the spring's gonna move it's going to push the ball up, and when it reaches this point, the spring is going to stop, but the ball is going to keep going. Uh -huh. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. And so the question is, how fast is the ball moving right here when the spring stops? Okay. Okay. So here's the way you want to handle this. All these problems start out the same way, work energy theorem. Okay, so it's energy initial equals energy final minus work not conserved. Is that up too high? Can y'all see that? No, I can see that. Okay, um, and so it, that means that you have to define uh, two things. Where's initial, where's final, and where's the bottom? Where's zero? Now for this problem, it told you zero's here. But in general, the best place to put the bottom is at the bottom. <laughs> Call me weird, but that's where I like to put it. So I would suggest that you redraw the problem where zero is here, at the lowest point where it goes. The book labels it here, up here. But it's better to put it here. Okay. okay. So <clears throat> let's do it this way then. Let's let's do part B again because I noticed on your answer for part B, you wrote I forget the number you wrote, uh, but it was off slightly from their answer, but mm -hmm. close enough that it count it gave you the green check. So okay. I think you actually made a, a slight error there that you that the computer didn't catch. Okay. Okay. And is it, that error is buried in this where you put the zero. Okay. So, so let's look at that zero for just a minute, okay? So let's start <clears throat> calling this zero, let's make this the starting point. That's energy initial, okay? And then still calling this zero, let's make this the final point. Okay. Okay, so there's initial, there's final. And we're going to write this out. So when the ball is here and the spring is smashed, what kind of energy does the ball have? 
Now to figure that out, you have to ask yourself uh, three questions, okay? Is the ball moving? When it was right here, was the ball moving? No. Correct. No. It's not moving until you pull the trigger, right? So you just push the spring down there and the ball's just sitting there. So is the ball moving? No. Okay. Is the ball off the ground? Well, we just called the ground right there and that's where it's at. So is the ball off the ground? No. No, it's not off the ground. Is there a spring stretched or compressed? Compressed. Yes, correct. So there is a spring stretched or compressed. That means the energy there, since it, uh, it wasn't moving, it wasn't off the ground, but there is a spring stretched or compressed, so there is energy in the spring. Okay, so you're going to use the potential energy of a spring, which is one half k x squared. And that's, it's on your equation sheet, it's just the potential energy of a spring. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Where x is how much the spring has been compressed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in the final situation, that's up here. Okay. So, all this right here, this is energy initial. Okay. Which is all the energy right there. Now, we're going to look here, energy final, which is all the energy up here. Okay. So, we're going to ask the same three questions. Is the ball moving? At the top? Correct. At the top. No. Correct. It's not moving. It's, it's uh, goes up, goes up, goes up, and at the very top it stops for just a second, and that's where we're looking, right there, at the very top. So is the ball moving? No, it's not moving at the top. Okay? So that, that means that there's no kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. Is the ball off the ground? Yes. Yeah, the ground's way down here, the ball's way up there. How high is it? 18 meters. Not quite. Oh, um, Do you see the difference? Yeah, I see that. Okay. It's, it's 18 from here to there, but it's actually off the ground. It's 18 plus this little bit down here. Okay. And I think that's the little error that you missed. Does that okay. make sense? So your, this energy final here is going to be MGH, but this H, that's going to be your 18.1. Okay. Do you see where the point yeah. one came from? The point one was from the compressed spring, right? Correct. Okay. And then let's just ask the third question to go through the, the process. Is there a spring stretched or compressed in the final situation? Stretched? No, it's, it's re the spring is at its relaxed point. So here's where the spring is relaxed and then you squash it down to here and then you pull the trigger and the spring goes back to its relaxed goes back to its relaxed spot. So it's not stretched or compressed, the spring's right where it wants to be. So there's no energy in the spring. Okay. Okay. So with this said, now you can solve it for K. Okay, does that, does that kind of make sense how that works? Yes. Okay, so uh, we plug these numbers in. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna multiply two over here and divide the K squared down there. So I get K is equal to two MGH over X squared. I did two steps of algebra in my head. Are you okay with that? Do you see what I did? Yeah. Multiplied two over divided X squared downstairs. Okay. And you plug everything in. What do you get for K with your numbers now? Um, Six thirty nine point two. Did you square your x? Yes. Which is that? That was like, um, that was um, four off of what I got. Hmm. 
Let's, let, me, let me write the numbers down here, because that's not quite right. Let's see. Uh, 2 times the mass, which was 0.018 times g, 9.81 times the h, which would be 18.1, divided by the x, which is 0.1 squared. Are those the numbers you plugged in? Give me a favor and punch them in again. Okay. <laughs> I'll punch them in too, see what I get. Yeah, I got the same thing. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, Run with that number. Tell me your number. 639.2. Okay, those would be newtons per meter. Okay, so now that we know that, now we can move on to part C. Okay, so part C says, given all this information now, how, what, how fast is it moving here? What's the speed that the ball launches from this spring with? And so what we're going to do is we're still going to use this as our initial spot. But now our final spot is going to be when the ball is right here. Before the ball ever gets way up there, what is the final speed here? So we're still going to start with the same equation. Energy initial equals energy final minus the work not conserved. And since there's no friction, we're going to throw that away just like we did in part A or B. Energy initial, we're going to start at the same place, so it's going to be the same exact equation. One half kx squared. And in the final situation, we're going to go here. When the ball is right here. Okay. So, and we're going to ask the same three questions. Is the ball moving? I <laughs> The answer is yes. Yeah, you've pulled the trigger, and the spring is okay, pushing yes. it up, and the ball is, is flying through that spot. So, so is the ball moving? Yeah, it's definitely moving. So we're going to have a 1 half mv squared right there for how fast it's moving. Okay. Next question, is it off the ground? Yes. Yeah, the ground's down here. It's now up there, right? So it's off the ground, so we're going to do plus mgh, but what's the h in this case? Um, 0 0.1. Correct. So it's 0 0.1 meters off the ground. And then the third question is, is there a spring stretched or compressed? But it would just be relaxed, right? Correct. It's, the spring is relaxed at that point, so there's no, there's no potential energy of a spring over here. So now, now you know everything. What's, what's this, uh, what was this value here? 639.2. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so that's the K. The K is Oh sorry. 639.2, and what's the X? The X is 0 0.1. Correct, 0 0.1. And uh, you know everything here except for V, and now you solve for V. Okay. Amy, does that answer the question that you had with the two? Yeah, it does. Okay. It, it makes the logic a lot more simple if you put the ground at the lowest point your object goes. Okay. You're not required to do it that way. The math will work out any way you do it. It's just more logical to do it that way. Okay.